Okay, so good news, bad news, bad news. Boom! Duranod's main account deleted. 172 million views. Boom! Three and a half thousand videos. 200,000 subscribers. And it's to do it. Done! Um, so this is my second channel. If you do have a new channel, down below, I'll link it. Um, here's the thing with YouTube. Anytime you can go, it can be deleted, boom, like that. And I've got a pretty good YouTube support network I was talking to them last night. And uh, I've got to do, talk to them, do some more talking with them. I doubt I'll get it back. I doubt I'll get it back. Do you know why? Because now, do a bit of research and reading and talk to my support person. People, this is what people are doing. People are buying views uh, for channels and then that'll get flagged as spam and then whoosh, deleted. Your channel will be deleted. So it's, from what I see, it's very easy to get someone's channel taken down from my experience of my channel getting taken down. I actually had about four channels taken down yesterday. To get that deleted is very, very easy. All you have to do is buy some bots or some spiders or some crawlers or whatever they call them and boom. So that was, that's the reason it wasn't uh, for any, any other reason. You go see it says, um, this account has been terminated for spam, um, phishing bots or whatever. I'll put a little picture there. That's, what, that's why it's been uh, deleted. So, who did that? Well, I did a video um, about Botox just a couple of days ago, and I showed. I did, just did a video about Botox. Some of you saw the video, and some of you saw who was in the video. And this is not no hate. I don't want you to go hate anyone, but uh, I've done that videos before on every single channel, and they just get taken down. Boom, boom, boom. With the same thing: the bots, the the spiders, the the buying the fake views, etc. So this is this is a big issue that YouTube is gonna to have to address, um, not just for me, but for, for the future. I mean, trolls can get your channel taken down just by buying some bots. If someone doesn't like what you're doing, you know, they can just buy bots and then your channel goes down. So it's, I mean, and that's proof. I, I, my channel was verified. I've got like, you know, top level support at YouTube. But still, I mean, I might get my channel back, probably not. I'm just thinking I'm not, but you know, it's disappointing, it's sad, but first world fucking problems at the end of the day. And I come back from Philippines last week, really just gave me insights into like some people doing it real tough and then you go to Bangladesh or you go to Rwanda or Uganda or you go to some refugee camp you know so I can't be too like oh my god you know what have I lost I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars that could have been put into the bike industry the vegan industry hundreds of thousands of dollars pumped into the vegan industry in the next few years that's gone that's finished uh, from my end um, I'll never have a channel that big you know that was 172 million views that, that's like nine years of work um, vegan videos as well. So that's what I've lost. But what have I gained? You know, I've gained a lot of friends. I've gained a lot of experience. I've gained a lot of community, and and you, that's that's priceless. And I haven't lost that. What what this what, what these things do? Any adversity, or any scandal, or unmasking or exposed nonsense, or you get, you know, someone's. Um, even my ex's brother was trying to hack my website. He actually did hack it. Duranotter.com had to take it. I just had to stop it. I couldn't even sign in anymore. He's just spamming it every fucking day, like trying to sign in like 100 times a day. And eventually I had to create a Shopify account, which is a lot more secure. So that's, this is what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with some fucking psychotic, ex-con, violent people. Uh, dealing with those people. So it's, it's a fucking crazy world, man. It's a fucking fucked up crazy world. Um, We'll have to take police action, I guess when I'm in Australia, I'll probably have no choice to, but it's just the world we live in, man. It's a jungle out there. And I can say I'm a victim of cyberbullying and the trolls and stuff like that, and it's just like, you know, I, it's, that's the world we live in, man. And we've got these, these um, I mean, I was bashed last, uh, last year, was it 2016, attacked on my bike up there when I did the Everest thing. And now all those guys are all buddies, even though the guy who attacked me does vocal uh, anti-vegan um, posts and stuff, but now he's best buddies with the fraud strong and all those other you know people who are like constantly stats in the nose. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm just, that's the sign of drug abuse, man. When someone's like, and you're like, that's drugs, man. That's that's not good. That's rehab time. Person needs help and need rehab. Whenever someone's doing jump cuts, but they're still like. Eyes are bugging out, man. And yeah, but that's, that's what I'm dealing with. You know, I give these people second chances. I think they're an ex-con, they're a fucking drug dealer selling meth or whatever. 
and I give this, here's the thing then in life, this is what I learned, if someone's selling meth in the last 10, 20 years, they're a shit cunt, and I don't think they're really gonna change 99% of the time, they're just looking for quick money, they'll come into the vegan movement, they'll be looking for quick money, like, where's the money, man? I'm Patreon strong. And just, it's just sad, it's really fucking sad, and they get violent and threaten you, you know, but with some nasty stuff, that's, that's ongoing, that's coming out, but I don't wanna try and um, paint myself as a victim here. Um, but that's what we're living. Yeah, it's a jungle out there, and YouTube's no exceptions. People can get people's accounts taken down oh, easier than I thought. Easier than I thought, man, seriously. I had zero strikes in that channel, and done, finished. Just like that, just like that. You can, you can buy views like $2 for a 1,000 views, and potentially, if you've got the right bots, get someone's channel taken down. Nine years of work for potentially one dollar. Just done. Bots. Um, view bots. It's, it's fucking, you just gotta laugh at it. But that's, that's life in general, you know. You could get in a car accident. You could slip over and hit your head and be dead. Just like that. You can you could be the, the world's best at whatever. And you could just be drunk or whatever and slip over and crack your head and be dead and gone. Schumacher. Look at Michael Schumacher, you know. So, you gotta live life in the moment, and and even us too. I was watching the video last night, watching the net on Netflix, Into the Wild. You know, where this guy's just like, um, watch it, watch it, the movie Into the Wild, where he's just like ditched society and stuff like that. And it's true, based on a true story. And I was watching that, and then I, I just had this feeling. I was like, you know, I, I feel something's up, something's up on my YouTube channel. That's that's how fucking in tune I am. And I went to my Tumblr, and I like, oh, my YouTube channel's deleted. I'm like, oh wow. And I'm like, surely it can't be my main channel. Cause that's got no strikes or whatever. And I went in and it's like, boom, done. Deleted for spam, deceptive content, etc. And I was like, wow, well, okay, what's the lesson here? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So I'm not sure where the lemonade's coming from right now, but you know, I've had my stuff deleted before, lived in the street before. I won't become an e-beggar. I won't become an e-beggar, don't worry. I won't be like those e-beggars who go to Bali, they get a holiday, they go to Bali, film stuff, oh my god, I'm really depressed, I'm, I need another holiday, can you guys pay for it? You know what I mean? It's like, what next, pay, pay, get crowdfund for rehab? Anyway, that's the world we live in, that's the generation that I'm, I'm out of, um, being 40, I, I guess I just don't really relate to those people anymore, and I guess that's where the conflict comes, or the, my expectations are a lot different, I think when you have expectations about people should behave, your ex-partner or whatever, or you know, then that's when you'll, you'll feel hurt or feel burned. And I'll tell you what, I used to say you don't know someone until you live with them for a few years. I'd say now you don't, you don't know someone until you've broken up with them. <laughs> then, you know what they're real, then you know who they really are in their heart as a core person. Then you'll really know who they are. Um, and it, it, does, it does hurt, it does, it does feel sad, but I, I can't really wallow in the self-pity too long, man, because I just come back from the Philippines. And you've seen those videos I made, you know, the, the, the people's, just getting it done, man. I, I can't hold on to, to any like, oh my God, poor Duran Rider, poor Duran Rider, nine years, 172 million views, all this stuff, you know? I gotta look at the positives, man. I've made a shit ton of friends, financially set for life. Well, I can't complain, man. You know, there's people out there today gonna lose their legs, arms, you know, family, their, their loved ones from a landmine. They're just gonna get some water down the stream, maybe in Cambodia or Bangladesh, do you know what I mean? these war-torn countries, and wars like 30, 40 years ago. But that's how fucked up humans are. You know, we'll put landmines down. We don't care about the future. It's like these vegan fuckboys with no vasectomy just getting these vegan girls pregnant. Call themselves, so, you're not a fucking vegan activist, man, if you cause causing abortions. You're just a fuckhead. You're a scumbag, in my book. Um, but you know, like, I, I, you can't feel sorry for yourself because it's, there's people out there who are dealing with some real shit. Losing a YouTube channel, losing a few hundred thousand bucks, <laughs> you know, it's frustrating. That's all it is. It's not like anything more than frustrating first world problem. It's an annoyance. It's like getting bitten by fucking sand flies. You know, it's like, fuck. It pisses me off, but you're not going to die from it. All right? Life goes on. And when life serves you lemons, make some fucking lemonade and put extra fucking sugar in it.